Hey everybody, a little shift of gears here in this middle section, section 10.4. We're doing similar things in section 10.3 and 10.5, but 10.4 has got a little bit of a break for you from that sort of thing. We're going to be looking at perimeters and areas of similar polygons, and uh, uh, that's where we're just going to go with it, okay? Important thing to look at here is going to be, all right, scale factors. What happens with scale factors if they're in the ratio of A to B, what happens for perimeters? What happens for areas? All right. So let's start by taking a figure, and I'm just using a rectangle because it's simple. All right. So rectangle one right there, rectangle two right over here, blown up by a scale factor of two. So we took the five and we made it a 10. We took the 12 and we made it a 24. Okay, scale factor two. Now let's check out their perimeters. Perimeter of the large figure, well, we're going to add up all the sides, 10 plus 24, 10 plus 24, that gives us 68. Smaller figure, 5 plus 12, plus 5 plus 12. Perimeter of the smaller one is 34. Ratio of the two is 2 to 1. Okay, fair enough. By the way, keep in mind, our scale factor is 2. Look at that ratio. All right, ratio perimeter, same as the ratio of the, uh, the scale factor. Okay, now let's look at the areas. Area of the big figure, 10 times 24, right? Base times height, 240. Area of the small figure, 5 times 12, 60. Now we have a ratio, areas, 4 to 1. So scale factor of 2 gave us a perimeter ratio of 2 to 1, area ratio of 4 to 1. And that would hold true for any figure, not just rectangles, okay? Now, what happens if we blow something up by a factor of 3? All right, so I just chose some different numbers, 3 and 7, blew it up to 9 by 21. Okay, look what happens to our perimeter. You can follow the calculations if you want. Perimeter ratio, 3 to 1. Same as our uh, scale factor, right? But look at the, area of the, uh, at the ratio of the areas, 9 to 1. Okay, one more example. Oh, by the way, I was just going to show you this too, by the way. I mean, this would make sense, right? If I duplicate this guy over here. Okay, look how I'm going to be able to fit nine of these guys, okay, in the big rectangle. Okay, I won't spend too much time here, but it, you guys see where we're going with this, right? Okay, obviously, the, the, again, the area would be nine times as big as the original one. Okay, so same back here. I can fit four of these over in this guy. Okay. All right, so you guys are seeing what's happening here, I hope. How about a scale factor of three to two? Here's a six by eight. Scale it up by a factor of three to two. Look at the ratio of the uh, um, perimeter. Still same as a scale factor. But look what happens with the areas, 9 to 4. So I hope you're seeing the pattern coming along here. Here's what the important part is. If the ratio of two similar figures is A to B. The ratio of their perimeters will be the same. And the ratio of their areas, we will square A and B. And we know the ratio of the areas. All right? So we saw that here. 3 to 2 led us to 9 to 4. 3 to 1 led us to 9 to 1. Okay? 2 to 1 became 4 to 1. So every area changes by A squared over B squared if our scale factor is A to B. Good? Good. Now, a bunch of examples for you to work on. You can pause them all, work through them. Okay. Here we go. Trapezoids are similar. What's the ratio, smaller to larger, of the perimeters and of the areas? Well, scale factor is 6 to 9 two-thirds, therefore the ratio of the perimeters is two-thirds, ratio of the area is four over nine. Good. Uh, one done in words. Pause it. Here we go. This time notice I said larger to smaller, so scale factor is seven to five, ratio perimeters still seven to five, ratio of areas seven squared over five squared, 49 over 25. Okay, other problems. Two octagons, what's the area of the larger one? 
if the smaller one is 77.12. Okay, scale factor, 4 to 10 or 2 to 5. So the ratio of the perimeters is 2 to 5, but the ratio of their areas is 4 to 25. Therefore, 4 to 25, that ratio is the same as the ratio of the smaller figure to the larger figure, 77.12 over the area of the large guy. Cross multiply, divide, you find the area of the big guy. Okay. Another one put in words, two similar polygons, three to four, area of the larger polygon is 96, scale factor three to four, ratio perimeters three to four, ratio of areas nine to 16, therefore nine over 16 equals the smaller area over the bigger one, solve for the smaller area. Uh, Farmer producing corn. Last year got a thousand bushels. This year, what happens if his plot is two and a half times larger? Scale factor 2.5 to 1. Area of the ratios. Now, since he has 6.25 times as much area on which to plant, he can grow 6.25 times, 6 times as much corn. Got it? Got it. Two pieces of glass. Size in the ratio 3 to 5, smaller piece costs 250. Okay, so scale factor, I went 5 to 3, it's all right. Areas 25 to 9, so 25 to 9 would give us the area of the, the cost of the large guy, over 2.5 for the cost of the small guy, the cost of the larger figure, 694. So I hope this is all makes sense. Play it over again, okay. Finally, one working is backwards. Two triangles are similar. What's the ratio of their perimeters? It gives us the areas. So pause it. Here we go. Ratio of the areas looks like that. We can simplify it down to 25 over 49. Therefore, the scale factor must be the square root of both of those, 5 to 7. And the ratio of their perimeters must be 5 to 7. One more problem. Pause it. Here we go. Two similar hexagons with those areas. Okay, ratio of those areas looks like that. I had to break this down and into prime factors. I can cancel out what is duplicated here and here. Okay, so the ratio of the areas simplifies to 125 over 9. I can take the square root on both of those. 5 to times the square root of 5 over 3. Therefore, the ratios of their perimeters looks exactly like that. Got it? Hope that's good. I'll see you tomorrow.